In this video, you will learn how to track Ajax forms with Google Analytics 4 and Google Tag Manager. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to the Analytics Mania YouTube channel, where I teach people how to work with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. So if you want to stay up to date with GTM, then consider subscribing to this channel. If you have a form on a website that does not reload the page after it was successfully submitted, it's probably built with Ajax. By default, Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics 4 cannot track such forms. But with several tweaks, that becomes possible. Let's take a look. Before you start tracking any form with Google Tag Manager, first you need to inspect how it works. So let's submit a form and click the Submit button. If the page does not reload and you see a success message, it's very likely that this form was built by using Ajax. So the next step would be to double check that and verify if my guess is right. Below this video, you will find a link to my blog post where I explain how to track Ajax forms. Scroll down to the section of custom HTML tag. Here you will find a code of listener that is designed to track Ajax requests on a website. This listener was originally created by the team of Bounteous. So now let's copy the entire code go to Google Tag Manager that is installed on a website, and then go to Tags, New, Tag Configuration, and then select Custom HTML. Paste the code, and then set this tag to fire on all pages. Now let's name this tag. I usually name it like that. CHTML stands for Custom HTML, and then save the tag. Now let's click the Preview button and enter the URL of the page where you have that form. Click Connect. Now let's submit the form once again, click send message, and let's go to the preview mode of Google Tag Manager. If you see the Ajax complete event right here, it means that the form was indeed built with Ajax. And if you expand this data layer push by clicking here, you will see a lot of things about that form. Most of it is technical, but what's important to us is this part, the text confirmation. In the case of this form, if it is successfully submitted, then we get confirmation opt parameter. And here is that parameters value. And we can use it in our trigger that we are going to create. That trigger will be looking for Ajax complete events and only those events where this parameter contains this value. In your case, the content of the response will probably be different. So you will need to adapt a solution to your particular form. Later in this video, I will explain what do I mean. So now first, let's create a variable for this. So we would need to create a data layer variable that accesses the confirmation opt parameter. But what's important is that this parameter is inside of the response because that's the response. And inside of the response, we have this kind of content and we want to access this. Furthermore, this response is inside of the attributes. So this is the attributes object inside of that attributes, we want to access response and inside of the response, we want to access this. That is why we are going to create a bit more complex data layer variable. So let's go to Google Tag Manager, variables, then new variable configuration and select data layer variable. Here we have to enter attributes dot. So now we are inside of the attributes object, then we go to response. And then we go to confirmation opt right here. So another dot and enter it like that. As I've said, in your case, probably the content of the response object will be different. You might not have confirmation opt. You might have something different, for example, data or also response or something like that. So you will need to adapt. In your case, it might be attributes.response and that's it. Or it might be attributes.response.data if you have data inside of it. So make sure to adapt. Now let's name this variable and click Save. Now let's create a trigger because we want to send an event to Google Analytics 4 only when Ajax complete event occurs with this particular value. You might be wondering why not just use Ajax complete without this additional condition? Well, the listener that we have installed with custom HTML tag is looking for all Ajax requests on a website. And you might have more elements on a page that are using Ajax technology. So to avoid false positives, we want to be more specific. And we are looking only for those Ajax complete requests that are related to the form submission. 
So in triggers, click new trigger configuration and then custom event. Here we have to enter the exact name that is right here, which is Ajax complete without quotation marks. So copy it, paste it right here. And then let's select our previously created data layer variable because we don't want to track any Ajax complete event. We want to track only that one where the form was actually successfully submitted. So here I have to enter the phrase text confirmation because that was the value in the data layer of this variable when we saw that Ajax complete event. Now let's name the trigger, click save. And the last thing is to create a tag that will send the form submission event to Google Analytics 4. Go to tags, new tag configuration, and then select GA4 event. In this lesson, I presume that you already know how to install Google Analytics 4 in general. That is why I presume that you already have the configuration tag. If you have no idea what it is, then I have another tutorial below this video where I explain how to install GA4. And in that lesson, you will know how to create a configuration tag. And here in the event name, since we are talking about form submission, Google Analytics 4 recommends that we use the following name for form submissions. You don't have to use them, but it is a recommended event name. And then in the triggering, click anywhere and select our recently created Ajax complete trigger. Now let's name the tag and click save. The final step is to test if this is working properly. To do that, we need to click preview to refresh the preview mode and click continue. Now let's submit the form once again. Click send. We have the success message. We have Ajax complete. I click it and I see that my tag has fired. Now let's go to Google Analytics 4 and check if that event has been received. We can do that by going to configure in Google Analytics 4 and then selecting debug view. And here you will see the generate lead event. The reason why I see this marked as green because I have also configured generate lead event as a conversion. And I did that by going to the conversion section. If you want to learn more about conversion tracking, then check the description of the video where I have one more tutorial for you. And that is pretty much it. So when you make sure that your setup is working properly, don't forget to submit these changes, or in other words, publish your container. You can do that by clicking Submit and then completing all the steps that the interface asks you to do. Once you publish your changes, within the next 24 hours, you will start seeing the Generate Lead event in Reports, Engagement, Events. Since this is my test property, I had sent generate lead event in the past, so I should already see some data from the past. If you don't see it on the first page, because by default you will see only the top 10 events, you can either show more rows or switch to the next page. And here is my generate lead event, but as I've said, it was sent a while ago, and the latest event that I have sent to Google Analytics 4 should appear somewhere after 24 hours in my Google Analytics 4 interface. And that is how you can track Ajax forms with Google Analytics 4 and Google Tag Manager. If you want to learn more about form tracking, then take a look at my Google Tag Manager course for beginners. I will post a link to it below the video. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.